Okay, what's up, YouTube? Page Crypto again. And want to give you a video about setting up your Logitech flight instrument panels. As you can see, these are my flight instrument panels here. I have them numbered in order to know which ones it is for my USB. And then you have right here your radio panels. Now I got two Logitech radio panels. And I also got a pro switch panel as well as a multi panel, but mainly I'm going to be focusing on the flight instrument panels, the six flight instrument panels that I have here, and the radio panel. So, pretty much, as you guys can see, I'm displaying some different gauges right here, and there is even functionality that I can uh, activate when I, you know, especially when I'm. You know, I could switch between each of them. As you can see, I could switch them, switch them around to whatever I need. Um, and essentially, yeah, I mean, pretty much, you know, I could switch it around. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. There's even functionality once you start the game up that you can use to modify. You know, I know for a fact, you know, you could actually set up, you can actually activate uh, you can actually activate by pressing this button autopilot, right? So there's that functionality as well. You have some settings there. It's pretty cool. So these are the pro uh, panels, FIP gauges, right? These are the pro ones. Uh, but you can also set up the default Logitech uh gauges as well you know if you don't have if you don't want to spend the money these are the pro gauges that i spent some money on but if you don't want to spend no money on gate gauges you can also just get the logitech version of it so logitech does have 16 different gauges that they give out for free once you get the panel that you can just set up now i'm going to be using spad next to do this i'm going to use spad next to do this I mean, I know there's another way you can do it using Logitech's driver and stuff like that, but I think that's a bit confusing and you can run into problems with that. SPAT and Next is a lot simpler. It makes things a lot easier. There's a lot more custom uh, customizability with the SPAT and Next interface. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that and set up your, your gauges and your panels just the way you have it right here. Okay, so pretty much this is how you set it up on your PC. So what you first want to do, you want to go to this website called spadnext.com. I'll put a link in the description to that. Then you want to click download, right? And essentially, once you go to download, you want to download the most recent version of spadnext. Now, I already downloaded it. So you want to just download and install that to your PC. Now, you get a 14-day trial for SPAD Next just to try it out. If you want to go ahead and buy it, you can just go buy it right here, right? Um, I would recommend the complete edition so you can use it for everything. But, I mean, you could also just get the, if you're just using it for flight simulator, then you just get the Microsoft Flight Simulator Edition. And that should be good enough as well. Um, but pretty much once that's downloaded, you want to go ahead and install that. Now, once it's installed, the first thing you're going to be greeted with is the home screen, right? Now, you want to go right here to your profiles icon. And you'll see a default profile called Default Stem Connect Base. Now, this is the one that I use. Now you can create your own profile by, you know, just going ahead and just adding a new profile, right? But you can also download other people's profiles as well. So there's a lot of things here. You can download different profiles, you know, for different setups and stuff like that. You can kind of, you know, read the description of what people are doing with these profiles, you know, what exactly, you know, the profile is about, stuff like that. So, um, Obviously, you know, and you can create a new profile from this. You can create an empty profile. You know what I'm saying? But I stick with the default SIM Connect base profile and I modify that. So that's how I do it, right? Now, um, 
what you want to do is that for you want to add your radio panels right now by default i think uh the sim connect base profile will will recognize one radio panel right so if you have multiple radio panels right and this is important right if you have multiple radio panels then you want to go to defi device assignments right and you're going to see that second radio panel here so you're going to see this radio panel and you're going to see the second radio panel radio panel one now what you want to do you want to go to the drop down and then you want to find radio panel one right you want to set radio panel one as you know this radio panel Right, so essentially, you want it to, uh, you want to be able to recognize it. So you want to find that within the drop down. Once you find that within the drop down, then Sim Connect will recognize it, and then they'll go and then you can go ahead and use that. Right now, um, so that's how you set up. So now you have both radio panels right here. You, have, you know, by default, if you have a multi-panel set up, it will, it will recognize your multi-panel. It will also recognize your switch panel, recognize both, um, it will only recognize one radio panel. You're gonna have to set up the radio panel, the other radio panel, just like what I showed right there. Now, the thing is, you can also, what, what the beauty of this is that you can modify these radio panels based on things people have done before. So the, 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 the greatest thing about um, SPAT Next is that you have these default configurations that people have for radio panels so or, or different devices whether it be radio panels switch panels multi panels whatever so you have a comp you if you go to complete device you'll see people have different setups for different aircraft and stuff like that so you can go ahead and actually you know take any one of these snippets right and it will automatically configure a radio radio panel to adapt to that aircraft right um and this is all running through sim connect um once it says sim connect um, you can use it, right? Once it says Sim Connect, because Sim Connect is the default API that um, Microsoft Flight Simulator uses to um, to connect to other devices and things like that, right? Now there is other things called FSU IPC as well as LVAR. There's some other providers, uh, API providers that allow you to connect. However, by default, Sim Connect is what you need, so you don't have to worry about these other ones as long as it has Sim Connect. You know, these are things that you can do more research on if you want to uh, find out how to use, you know, FSU IPC. Uh, you can um, you can check that out as well as L L V L V A R. But just know that S Bag Next by default um, connects with Sim Connect. Um, so Sim Connect is the straightforward way to do this. Right, so you want to pick a snippet that has Sim Connect as a provider. So that's how you set up your radio panel. Um, you know, if you turn, if you, you you'll see right here, virtual power on, virtual power off, and essentially what's going on is that it is turning your device on and off. So whatever you see right here is what's going to be shown on your device. Um, so essentially anything you see right here. This is what's gonna be uh, shown on your device. Um, you know, you can turn the virtual power on and off, like the three lights, you're gonna actually see those three lights, these three LEDs on, on your device, you know, when you turn this on and off. So this is just a way to test your device, make sure that it works. If you turn that off, so it, it, it will come off, off your device. If you turn it on, it will come back on. So this is just a test to make sure that your device is working. Um, so essentially now this is for my uh, my controls so i do got the bravo quadrant uh, and i got some other things adrena leonardo that is a switch panel uh edition so you have some different things here i got rhino SciTech pro stick and things like that so you can always you know you can get online snippets of these customize these however you want to customize if you want to customize your flight stick if you want to customize your um your throttle quadrant right you get an online snippet right to customize that to your, your your throttle quadrant to make it fit like a certain configuration right um and stuff like that so there's there's, there's this customizability with your controls 
and you could do this on the fly while you're playing the games and stuff like that. So I got like a whole bunch of different controls attached here. So you can always customize it with the online snippets as well. So for example, if I wanted to customize my throttle quadrant, right? Um, you know, I could do that, right? I could go to my throttle quadrant and I could just basically, you know, a through 20 inches. If I want to customize your A320 inch, I could check this one out and customize it and stuff like that. So there's all that configuration that you can do. And you can also customize it manually, obviously. Um, you can add events. Uh, you know, you click add an event. You know, you can do, you know, you can look into this more button press, button press, short, long, button release, stuff like that. And based on what happens, then you can see set um, a trigger for that action but obviously you have to do some research more research on this to fully understand what goes on there now um, we do have the FIP dodges right now this is something that I think a lot of people may find confusing now I have six dodges installed um, as bad next will recognize all all of the gadget that you have installed. So if you have 20 installed, if you have 20 set up, it will you will see all of them right here, right? If you have 20 set up, you'll see all of them right here, right? So essentially, these gadgets, you know, you can customize them however you want. So if I go to if I go to add a gauge, right? Now as you can see, these are my premium gadgets now. I downloaded these online and I'm going to show you guys how to get those. But for SciTech, right, you do get all the SciTech gauges for free, right? All these SciTech gauges, you get them for free, right? Um, so these are the standard default gauges that you get anyways, right? If you use uh, the SciTech Logitech drivers. <clears throat> so these, these gauges, I, am, I, am I saying it right? I think it's gauges, but... You know, uh, yeah, let's just say, let's just say gauges. Um, but these gauges, you would get them for free from SPAD Next. And as you can see, you know, these are just your standard stuff. And, you know, you can load it. You know, if you just click, right click on it, if you just click on it and then you click load gauge, right? Left click on it, right? So left click on it, load gauge, then that will load up on your device. That's what's going to be displayed on your device right there. Um, and these are some demo gauges or demo gauges that I got from, from SPAD Next. These only work for a certain amount of time, then they time out, right? These are some free gauges that you, you could use that people provide for free, right? So you can use these as well. Um, and these are some other gauges that you know these come by default as well so there's some there's some customization that you could do there if you don't want to actually pay for gauges but for me i actually pay for about i have a seven gauges that i pay for so this is um a site called fipgauges.com right and by the way you know you can there's 89 gauges that you can get and you can just go through, you know, obviously each gauge is different in price. Um, some are more expensive than others. And essentially these are just for obviously playing your game. I mean, um, for adding some immersion and making it a lot more functional, really. I mean, mean making your FIP device a lot more functional. So as you can see, you have air speeds, air speed gauges right here. You got some ultimate gauges right here, angle attack gauges right here. Um, and these different things, as I said, it does improve your experience to a degree because you're you're actually able to see it in front of you instead of having to look on the actual screen, right? And there's customization because these are premium gauges that you pay for. There's ways you can customize it with the buttons on the flight instrument panel. So pretty much, yeah, I mean, um, as you can see right here, 
pretty amazing stuff, pretty amazing stuff. So you could go through and buy. Once you go ahead and decide that you want to, you know, buy, then you just essentially just add to cart and you, know, you check out, then you just download that gauge, right? You download that gauge and then you just go to add gauge, right? And you add a folder, you know, and then you just add your folder right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I got premium gauges, right? So you select that folder and you know, you add it to your list, right? And then you have all your gauges right there. So it's pretty cool. Um, you know, so, and then obviously, you know, you go ahead and you just load. So, you, you know, you go ahead. So for, for example, you click on that load, right? You can also edit the category and stuff like that. Um, it does come with some default categories where you can actually add a new category as well. So that's pretty much that. Now, obviously this is just event monitor. You can monitor what's going on while you're playing Flight Simulator to see what events are being triggered. And so what information Flight Simulator is sending to SBAT Next uh, via Sim Connect and vice versa. What what SBAT Next is sending to Flight Simulator. So you can check that there as well. So that's pretty much that. You got some settings right here. Um, but that's pretty much that. I mean, let me know what you guys think. Um, I think that s Next is a great way to set up your flight instrument panels as well as just your overall multi-panel setup, your overall flight panel setup, whether it be your multi-panel, your pro panel, or your radio panels, right? Um, this is a great tool to use to have everything working as expected. So your pro switch panel, obviously, you know, you want to make sure that set up as well to your liking. But anyways, have a great day. Pace Crypto signing out. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting out more videos, but have a great day. Pace Crypto signing.